It had been more than one year since Microsoft had launched the Surface Pro 4. Ever since, this device has seen not many ups and downs in terms of its product quality both pertaining to hardware and software. I have been using the 2017 model of Microsoft Surface Pro 4 for the past 30 days and here is my experience of this device. I will share definitely it is a mixed response where there are things which could have been better and there are things which are definitely better as compared to the previous version of Surface Pro 4. So in this video I am going to share the depth review of Surface Pro 4 2017 edition. Hi friends, welcome back to Gadgets India. I am your host CK and in this video I am going to share my experience with the Surface Pro 4 2017 edition. I have been using this device for the past 30 days and I will share I am not really very happy with the kind of quality they have given in this model of 2017 edition. To start with the click stand. The click stand is supposed to be one of its selling features of Surface Pro 4 and here within 30 days I see there is loose motions and there is some defect in the click stand where it is so loose it is not that tight or that strong which it's supposed to be. The much boosted magnesium alloy click stand is uh, no doubt a good invention but in terms of this durability after 30 days as you see in this video it's very loose and at the different angles also there is this uh, shaky moment happening in different different angles so that is what was not supposed to be done with uh, hardware even i tried to contact the microsoft team persons and they said uh, if i return this device i'll get a refurbished one there is no doubt uh, that i'm not gonna get uh, a full fledged or brand new product so the service is also not that great in terms of uh, Indian market. So uh, this is putting question towards Microsoft how they are going to handle the Indian customer if they are going to survive in Indian market. Even you can see in this video the hinge are loose and there are some loose motions in the hinge and uh, here uh, in this video both the two hinges there are some uh, technical uh, defect more particularly physical defect which I don't know why this is happening but this is there and the click stand is not robust and it is shaky. In terms of the monitor of Surface Pro 4, it's very bright. The color accuracy is excellent. In terms of the sRGB color gamut, it is having 94% of the sRGB color gamut. Although the device has the maximum brightness, where it is very bright, but I'll suggest to use at the second highest level of brightness where you can watch the movies and other stuff and it will also smoothen the battery consumption and it will last longer. In terms of its connectivity to the surface pane and the surface keypad, it's very responsive. I have shared my video where I have explained the response to surface keypad. You may take a look in that video. The boot up in the new Surface Pro 4 is pretty fast. You can use Windows Hello Facial Recognition which is 85% accuracy in terms of its recognition. Otherwise, you can also use the pin code system to boot up. The Surface Pro 4 runs on Windows 10. And ever since I have been using this model, there had been multiple updates and the features which have been added in every update are cool and simultaneously new also. Coming back to the Windows 10 operating system, there had been a lot many developments and a lot many up upgradation syndrome for Windows 10. So in the control panel, you will get a lot many options to customize your applications. In the notification bar, there are a lot many options where you can add a lot many uh, shortcuts to different kind of uh, uh, settings. And also, you can delete the settings which is already uh, set as per the device or as per the Windows uh, 10. And in the uh, other sections like uh, the battery and all, so the battery is uh, basically giving uh, 6 hours of battery backup if I am going to use it for uh, watching movies or watching uh, YouTube videos or doing some editing uh, stuff on this uh, uh, Surface Pro 4. Uh, but uh, if I am not using the power saver mode on, then the battery is draining pretty fast which is within 4 hours it is drained out. But if I am using this battery saver on, it is running better. The surface pen is quite responsive in new Surface Pro 4 
and you can also change the settings in the pen section of the settings where you can add multiple shortcuts by single tap or double tap or press and hold the tap button so that you can add multiple shortcuts while using it. In Windows 10, Microsoft has done significant developments in Microsoft Edge, which is the reincarnation of Internet Explorer. And in this new version of Microsoft Edge, you can use the Surface Pen to use it for the Windows Ink, where you can edit the screenshots or the web page as per your requirement. And also in multiple web pages, if you have opened, so while hovering the cursor on each and every tab, you will get to get the glimpse of what is the content of that each and every tab which you have opened and that is fairly a nice thing to use and in terms of its fastness it's pretty fast and the beauty is that you can edit the web pages and you can use those edited pages for your different kind of uh, attachment in mail or your official purpose in the task bar there are multiple shortcuts starting with Windows Defender which is inbuilt antivirus program followed by the cloud and then the battery. In battery setting you have the left side battery saver option and the right side the brightness options. So you can change the brightness options starting with the darkest and the darker suggested brightness and the brightest. So these are the different kind of settings which can influence the battery life and also the performance in terms of the brightness. The taskbar also has Windows Ink workspace shortcut which is basically the shortcuts for the Surface Pro Pen and it has basically three shortcuts those are Sketch, Sticky Notes and Screen Sketch you can use these as per your requirement and also you can have different applications where you can use the Surface Pen as per the requirement may be productive maybe for entertainment the Surface Pen is quite responsive while using these apps and the eraser in the back that is also very fast and it responds to the touch at a fair distance so on an average at a distance of half inch it responds on the screen at the right side bottom of the corner there is the action center which is shortcut of all the different functions and you can customize them as per your requirement and they are pretty handy to use at the time of need the new surface pro 4 handles the temperature issue fairly well all the vents are working fine on basic use and the average temperature is around 34 to 35 degree while using it for one to two hours and there is no difference or slightly difference in terms of the temperature of the uh, screen and also the back side but i feel uh, at times when you are using uh, for editing video and all the temperature ranges up to 40 degrees celsius in terms of the device performance this is working fairly fine when I'm doing for video editing or other heavy stuff. As of now, I'm happy with the kind of performance. I hope you like this video. For more of such videos, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. And while subscribing, please press the bell icon so that every time I'll upload a new video, you'll be notified. Have a good day.